Okay, good morning everyone, good morning uh, viewers in this episode of the History Makers, our Makers of History. It's a pleasure to have one and only African King, Sprint King, Ferdinand Omanyala. Omanyala. Yes. Omurwa. Omurwa. Jina ngapi? Tatu mzuri. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Welcome you for having me here. Yeah, you. I'm you. happy Appreciate. to... Congratulations, by the way. Thank that you. was uh, super. You did marvelous to run in 9.77? Yes, 9.77. African record. African record. Yeah. Tell me, how did you feel after winning, after getting uh, breaking the record to be called the African champ? <laughs> First, it not hit me at yeah. the moment. Yeah. I mean, like, immediately. Yeah. Because uh, I looked up and then the thing I wanted was to go and kiss the Tata. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I went and did. Yeah. And then again, it now sunk in yeah. after like five minutes yes. that that's the African record. 977. And, and I was I was so surprised. But I was happy about it because it's something I've been working on. Yeah. And I've always said that any race I run I want to break a record. How many how many times did you breathe from the beginning of the race <laughs> to the end? How many I times I did can't you remember out? I can't even remember what you did because just nine seconds you're done. <laughs> did you hold your breath? No, you, you don't hold basically hold your breath because yeah. It's just the first part, almost yeah. like five meters, yes. and then you need to release so yeah. that you can have a, you can release the body. You yes. don't have to tighten up. If you yeah. tighten up, you end up uh, getting slower and slower. So you need just to relax, yeah. breathe in and out, and just relax. How many steps did you take? Forty-seven it's steps. Forty-seven yeah. steps. Yeah. What is it? The fastest uh, steps you've taken to the end? No, I've, the service I took forty-six. That yeah. was in Austria. Yeah. So if I could have run the same race in Austria, yeah. I ran it in Nairobi. Yeah. It could be maybe a nine-six or nine-five something. So, looking at Usain Bolt, have you seen how many steps he used to take? For example, he had he had a very you, big stride. Yeah, he yeah, was yeah, taking around big. forty-three to forty-five steps. Forty-three to forty-five yeah, steps. Yeah. So what the science of running mm -hmm. uh, hundred meters is in the breathing. It's on the steps you make and the length of the steps. And then the path, how powerful you are stepping the ground. Because and how powerful. Uh, 100 meters yeah. is all about the, the You see, most of 100 meter guys are a bit bulk because bulk, we yes. do gym a lot. Yeah. Because you need the strength and the power. Yeah. So it, it, it comes down to how hard you're stepping on the ground because yeah. it's all about action and reaction forces. Yes. The action you're putting on the ground, yeah. the force needs to act back. Yeah. So if it acts back, the, the most powerful steps take you further. Further. Yeah. Yeah. So if, 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 for example, you, you are not running as fast as you want and the, 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 the step up is not as good enough, so you'll take a slower time? Yeah, the, the time you'll take on the ground again will be a bit longer yes. because if you step powerful, yes. it tends to get out of the ground again, yeah. powerful and fast. So having rain in Kenyan soil and having set the record in Kenyan soil, what is your outlook? How are people viewing you vis-a-vis -vis the day you started running? As a, this rugby player, <laughs> what do you feel? Uh, it's, it has really, really changed because it's like a yes. 360 degree turn. Yes. Like I was another person, now I'm yeah. another different person. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, it has really changed my status in the society, mm. which I'm embracing it. I'm mm -hmm. taking it a day as it comes. Yeah. But now the pressure is it's, it's reducing a bit. Because there's so much pressure since Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> my phone was ringing and my WhatsApp. I think I have like more than 700 messages on WhatsApp. I need to start replying them slowly. But uh, I'm embracing that. Uh, and, uh, and now I know how success feels. Uh, and I want to continue doing that. And now Ujai to Harambe. You know people are called for Harambe. Badu. Badu is to Harambe. Badu Harambe is Jai uh, your friends are not showing up with the debt. Uh, yeah, of course they must be. Yeah, kuna mwenye aliniambia ni mfungulie biashara and I'm like how? So so if you look at the races you've ran, yeah, and the uh, success you've gotten from these races. Would you ask anyone who is aspiring to be the next Ferdinand Manyala to pick up racing uh, running actively? Yeah, cuz my main purpose when I started this, this sport is to change the notion of Kenyans. Yes. You know, like everybody in the world yeah. does not believe Kenyans can sprint. Like you, you travel in the world and then yeah. they ask you which sport do you do? Yeah. And then you say I'm a 100 meter runner and they're like, oh, there's a 100 meter run in Kenya. <laughs> so we want to change that. And it's the changing slowly. Yeah. The perception is really changing. Yeah. So uh, for an athlete, now that I've opened the ways, you yeah. know, first born to Umiyasana, I've of gone course. through a lot of challenges yeah. to get where I am. I believe it's, getting, it's going to get even better because 
I believe there are some uh, facilities that are going to be built because of what I've done. So AK it will be easier. AK has embraced you fi finally now? Yeah, the AK now have embraced me. Now there's no fight? <laughs> now there's no fight. Now they, be, they know that there's someone they can field in 100 meters. At least, but yeah. you, th it was a, ro a long fight between you and AK and <laughs> the successors. Yeah, the, the, yeah, it was a struggle, but I believe everything happens for a reason. Yeah. I believe that's what now made me where I am today, because if I could be given teams, I could be put in teams just to go for competitions because of your in top three. Yeah. I could not have worked hard to yeah. make the times to go to the Olympics. Is it paying? Yeah, it is. It is. Because uh, looking at the last races that I've run, yeah. I've been paying, I've been nimekwana pata pesa vizuri. Yeah, so like the races have been going in Europe. There's appearance fee mm -hmm. and there's prize money. Yeah. So at least I'm comfortable. So so the appearance fee and the ticket is paid before. Yeah, so if you're invited for a race, let's yeah. say in uh, Finland. Yeah. They, they say, they tell you, now we want you to come and run because they also need the bonga points. Yes. If you come and run fast in their tartan, yeah. it will be a new, it will be a news. New record, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they pay for your accommodation, for your tickets, and then they give you prize money. Yeah. Like what, there's one race that I was given 300,000 just to appear. Oh, yeah. good. That's so a it, congratulations. Yeah, it, That's it, something. It pays, it pays. So it pays. I want to change this perfection, that this perception that uh, people, guardians are telling their parents, you cannot make a living out of sport. If the child is talented, le yeah. let him let him do what he wants to do, and then you just support him because you never know of tomorrow. Your girlfriend has been very instrumental in your life. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you honored her the other day, and it was very touching. Yeah. What is she feeling now that you've managed her hard work is paying off as well? And what you do you tell Kenyan men who look for? <laughs> other areas, not the girl they've stuffed with. Oh, mama, I want to Ah, no, 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 no. Uh, I better die. <laughs> I'll not leave her. Yeah. She's been there for me yeah. for as long as, because uh, she knew me before I was a celeb. Yeah. Before I started running fast in 2016, she yeah. was there. Yeah. So she has seen me grow. Yeah. She's been there side to side. Yeah. We've gone through challenges together. Yeah. She's been there to support me and just tell me tomorrow will be better. So I've been having a lot of uh, challenges, but mm -hmm. she's been there. Mm. Financial, financial, mental, yeah. Yeah. Uh, f I mean, f everything. Like yeah. in this sport, you have injuries. Yeah. Yeah. You, like you've okay, said, uh, the case story. Yeah. And then financial. So she's been there all through. Yeah. So she's been very, very monumental in my career. And then uh, to to men who <laughs> to men who are looking for, okay, I'll advise ladies because most of the <laughs> ladies in Kenya <laughs> yes. are looking for everything that has been already that's already Funnished. there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So uh, if you get someone yeah. who has already made it out of uh, made it in life, yeah. he'll always put his properties first. Yeah. He'll always put his career, his money first before yeah. you. Yeah. But if you grow with someone, yeah. he'll value most before before he values anything uh, else property. that he has gotten. Yeah. yeah. And then. To those who are leaving their their loved ones before, if you look at the stories, yes, most of these guys who have left their wives after they have made it, they have never gone far. That 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 tears that that lady is crying is very very. I mean, like God looks at that, and then you end up you see like you've left her, and then now life's just start getting. What did your mother tell you when you broke the record? Uh, she was very happy because yes. uh, since then, since uh, I was at the Olympics, she's yes. been called by like. Very, uh, very good, very great people in the village. <laughs> <They're> in. Yeah, <laughs> they have been calling her and yeah. like she's asking me, "Why well, you've made me now a celeb in this town?" So she's very happy about it. Yeah, yeah she's Mr. Omuru himself. Mr. Omuru is very happy actually, and to see you know he was a sprinter before, yeah, so to see that. his son now taking up his, his footsteps yeah. and now growing bigger and making it even better, yeah. I'm living the dreams that he would want to live when he was a sprinter. So He's in a day. In a day, if you woke up today, how do you plan to eat? Because you can't eat anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't just drink anything yeah. because of doping on guys who yes, will be over yes, yes. over your case. Guys are looking at where is uh, Ferdinand today, yeah. what is he eating? Mm -hmm. So in a nutshell, how is your day? Like, apart from the interviews, if you woke up today, what would you do? So it uh, depends if it's yeah. in off-season or in-season. So mm -hmm. off-season, mostly we train thrice a day. Yeah. Three hours, se three hours sessions. Yeah. Morning, mid morning, and evening. Mm. So I'll say I'll wake up, take my breakfast, yeah. get out of the house, go to the gym. Yeah. Go from the gym, you come back to the house. Yeah. Take, uh, how take many, something. How many minutes do you take or hours do you take in the gym? Uh, gym session are always three hours. Uh -huh. Three hours. So you come back to the house, take something, and then go to track. Yeah. And then again after track, you do a session of like uh, two hours. 
Yeah. And then you do another one. Yeah. So you come back home, take lunch, yeah. sleep a bit like an hour nap, and yeah. then now go for the evening training. Mostly it's always about uh, track training because there's a lot of things that are involved to build up these 100 meters. It's a short distance, but a lot of technicalities. So yes. you have to train and make every, everything perfect. So what, what the food, nutrition is key. Yeah. So how do you regulate? What is your intake, for example, of vitamins, intake of proteins? Yeah, I'm a na wife because I don't like green. <laughs> <laughs> but I love taking fruits. Yes. Uh, I eat a lot of fruits because as much as you may not drink, sometimes you don't feel like drinking water, yeah. but you eat a you lot of fruits because now the, the hydration again is in the fruits. Yeah. Let's say like a watermelon. Yeah. Uh, about the vitamins, I have to ugali ugali I have to eat a You are white or you are brown? <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, white. Uh, I eat a lot of uh, carbs and proteins. Yes. Every day I must eat a protein. Okay. Either wi mostly white meat, fish yeah. and chicken. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I take beef. Yeah. And then pork and uh, also liver. Just for the body? Yeah, for the body. Instead yeah. of going for the supplement way, you just mm. make a balanced diet. So so if if someone invites you, do you really care or do you have to know what is cooked? Because the doping and medicine is also key. Yeah. What kind of medicine do you take so that you do not... Uh, breach the doping uh, uh, rule. So uh, I have if a doctor. Sick, yes, I have a doctor who yeah. I consult every time. Yeah, before. So, yeah, before. Before yeah. I, be, if I feel anything like I'm feeling some fever or I'm feeling uh, I have a back back uh, back pain or yeah. headache. Yeah, I have a doctor that I consult. So yeah. she knows everything. She has worked with adult before, so she knows everything. So she t she prescribes the medicine for me. Mm. I just don't go over the counter and buy the drugs. And then if I'm invited somewhere, mostly yeah. I don't eat. <laughs> because <laughs> they know I'm coming, but uh -huh. uh, I'm that guy, that that kind of athlete who pops uh -huh. in when people doesn't know I'm coming. Uh -huh. I might tell you I'm not coming, but then again you see me. You show up, eh? uh, yeah. So yeah. it you know if someone to plan a thing when you just show up abrupt. Yes, it, it's hard. Like in town, you don't say I'm going to eat somewhere. Yeah, it just reaches a time you say, let me go and have some chicken Something and KFC. Yeah. yeah, so you just pop in there. Yeah, yeah. But so mostly I'll, I'll try and keep myself in-house, mm. uh, no parties, no visitations a lot, mm. uh, because uh, I know what it takes to be where I am now. I don't want to spoil this. Okay. Do yeah. you, have you ever done, most of the, if you watch, there's a, there's a clip on why it is impossible to run under nine seconds, mm -hmm. and the science of training, and I hear that the first thing that is, that you have to, the breathing is very key, mm -hmm. and people train underwater have you tried to train underwater for no not yet yes these are things that we're trying to implement yeah. because you know previously i've yeah. never had this financial upgrade Muscle. that yeah. i have now yeah. Yeah. so the next season will be better of course yeah we'll improvise we'll improve on our training facilities yes we'll improve on some of the training aspects yes so next season will be better i've never trained in water because uh i don't like swimming <laughs> 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 but it's something that I will we'll do it slowly because I've, I've been told by a couple of people that yes. uh, hydration training is good. It's good. It's good for your back, for your muscles and everything. For the, uh, and I mean, resistance training. Okay, if yeah. you, in the next two years, where do we expect Ferdinand Domanyana? Next year is going to be a great year. Mm. My target mostly is the Olympic Games in yeah. Paris 2024. Yeah. And I pray to God that he may continue working with me mm -hmm. and I remain humble as I am and just continue working hard. Yes. Uh, my target is to break those records. Every race that I'm running I want to break a record, be it a national record, be it a stadium record, Olympic record, world record, you never know what God is planning. And they, I always say there's no limits to greatness. So the, your coach is the same coach you started with? Yeah, or he's you the coach that coach? I started with when I was zero. He uh -huh. has taught me everything since. So he's like a father figure now. What about the rugby players you used to play with? What are they saying? <laughs> yeah, they they are really proud of me, and they they are. I mean, like it's it's almost unbelievable to see yeah. someone you are just playing with now, an African champion, champion a world, yeah. an international athlete. So it's a uh, it's it's also a motivation to them that anything is possible. So I'm glad that I'm encouraging so many people, not just in sport, even yes. out of this sport. And uh, are you taking other guys with you? Are the guys now asking you that they should join this uh, bandwagon of the new Kenyan 
new minted Kenyan runners? Yeah, we have a team. It's called Achievers Godspeed. Yes. That were actually my success. I attribute it to them also because you know training alone is a very hard task. Yes. Sometimes you train alone and you reach the seventh workout. Yeah. You are supposed to do ten, and they yeah. say, "Aye, still lazima." Still lazima. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> if you have a team, yeah. there's someone who is positive in that team. So they say, yeah. "Fadi lazima to malize your workout." So they have been part of my story. Yes. They have been part of my growth. Yes. And uh, when I was in after the Olympics, there are like ten guys who are asking if they can join us in training, and we accepted them. Yeah. For us, we always say uh, it's it's about it's upon you because if you want to work hard, it's upon you because we don't we don't charge a lot of money coming to the team because we believe if you are consistent in training, you'll grow, and then when you grow, mm -hmm. is when now you can start paying back to the team. Yeah. So if you come and you're a joker then that will be hard. So the, the boys who in your club training mates who actually push you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we have a team. Yeah. Uh, it's called Achievers Godspeed. Yes, yeah. I attribute my success to this team because yeah. you know you can't train alone. Yeah. Sometimes you train alone and then you reach a rep, you are supposed to do twelve, you reach at the eighth you're, tired. you're tired. You, think, you just wanna yeah, stop you know, it. So, sometimes the body gets to autopilot. Yeah. You you run until you just you don't feel anything, you just go. You just run to finish the workout. <laughs> <laughs> so they have been monu monumental because yeah. uh, sometimes you you feel like giving up. Mm. But then the team tells you, man, when you well, got this, to to you work out. Yeah. These emotion does not count. count. Uh -huh. So when you see someone who is a bit lower than you telling you that, mm. then you just have to push. Yeah. So there's a team, and then after the Olympics, we w we had uh, we had so many requests yeah. for people wanting to join our team, yeah. and we have embraced them, and we've, we've called them into the team. So our team now has more than 20 guys. So we are training, we want to work with these guys, we want to give them the experience that we've gotten, yeah. so that they can also rise and become uh, the great athletes in this country. So you train in Nairobi yeah. or we train where at Kasarani. exactly? Kasarani. Kasarani, yeah. yeah. So yeah. It's, it's a team of 20 guys under your More coach? More than 20 okay. under my coach. Okay. Yeah, so we also help my coach because sometimes yeah. it's, it's, it's a lot to, to take care of. So yeah. the, those senior people like me and the other like four guys who are mm. senior, mm. We, can con we can guide the team and control mm. what they do. So uh, sooner or later, these sprinters will come up and then they will be somewhere. Uh, Michael Tieno, your competitor was uh, bad from running. Have you spoken to him? You went through the same scenario. Yeah. Is, how is he taking it? Uh, I'll prefer to keep that private because yeah. uh, I did not also want people to talk about my story before it was <laughs> ended. So yes. Mark is fine. Yeah, yeah he's, he's a great friend. So yeah. we just keep that private until when he'll decide to talk. All right. Yeah. All right. So um, in a day today, like if you are not Omanyala, the 100 meter African champion, what would you have been? Uh, I prefer staying, I always stay home with my son. Yes. <laughs> I have a son with two years. Yeah. He's, we always do a lot of jokes together. So we watch yes. a lot of cartoons together <laughs> <laughs> and missions. Yes. So I prefer staying at home yeah. and just keeping my privacy mm. and just thinking about life. I'm not so that outdoor, so much outdoor person that I can go, I go walks, I go do such stuff. I prefer in-house activities. Affection. I know women are now all over you. Have they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are sending a lot of messages, but they know I'm taken. So <laughs> 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 they, uh, uh, I'm, a, I'm a good friend keeper. We can yes. be friends. No yeah. worries about that. So they are not telling you now we can move on to the next. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't do that because uh, yeah. I have all my affection to my 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 wife Laventa. Nice. Yeah. So, to end this interview, what word word will you describe? Would you say? Would you describe Omanyala as a resilient person? Resilient, discipline, uh -huh. and hard working. I Thank never you. give up. <laughs> I never <laughs> give up. At a side, kuweka sleek winapa. Ah, no, 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 no. I can't do that. We will to be there. Make up to add the kauka end. <laughs> thank you, Fadi. Thank, 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 thank you, Bruce. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. It was Ferdinand Omanyala, one African, uh, we call him African Superman now, <laughs> the 100 meters champ, uh, the African record holder in our this in this week's episode of uh, African and uh, Kenyan history makers. Sandy Sanafadi. Thank you for having me.